Good morning. Uh, I hope this is recording, but uh, once again, my uh, camera, the screen is broken, so who knows. Uh, it is January something. It's the day after yesterday, and uh, I'm in some badass territory. This is some pretty cool riding. Um, the road has returned to pavement, but it's pretty broken and quite narrow, luckily. There isn't much traffic going on up here. Um, this is somewhat of a, a back route. The major highway is on the other side of the mountains and this is leading towards it right now. Um, this morning I will be climbing more or less, not over those two mountains, but to the left of it is the uh, Chicanica Pass. I think it's about 2200 meters around there high, so I definitely have some climbing to do. This is some pretty, pretty lovely riding. This is some nice terrain, there's little stream crosses, it feels pretty badass for this, for this bike. I did it! Um, this may be the uh, highest pass of the trip. 2260. Um, it wasn't so bad. I took the uh, the back road, which was that bumpy mother. Claimed a portion of my bike, as you can see, my uh, mud guard is uh, strapped down on the back. Now I'm going to be heading down to about 800 meters, so huge descent. And then from 800 meters, I cycle about 30 to 40 before I climb right back up to 17. I'm starting my big descent, and it's so windy on this side. I got a friggin' pedal, which sucks. I'm going downhill at negative three and only going 20 kilometers an hour, so. Won't get there as quick as I thought, but I got some great scenery to enjoy, so either way, uh, I I'm happy. reached the green side of Morocco once again. I'll be descending past these kind of odd formations there to the bottom where there is a town and then from there, I think it wasn't so foggy or uh, smoggy more so. You'd practically be able to see Marrakesh from here. But instead of going directly to the, the city, I'm cutting across um, following the mountains until I, uh, I reach my turn off and then I head directly up. All right, so it's the end of the day here. Um, new longest day, uh, 120 kilometers. That beats my last, which was 116. As you can see, you exited the mountains. They're back here. Pretty populated. There's lots of farms. Um, I asked a couple places. Was refused a couple times. This farm they accepted um, originally, and then kind of became hesitant about it. Uh, one of them was warning me that the dogs are going to be out tonight. Pretty serious. It's not fun being tormented by defensive dogs all night. So I'm not happy about that, but uh, I got a place to stay. And since I did so much today, I think I only have to go 60 to 50 kilometers tomorrow. It will be some serious climbing. So that will be a big day. And then after that, I'm climbing the biggest mountain in Morocco, which is pretty sweet. Check out Buck Abroad on Instagram where you can find some sweet pics from behind the scenes of this video, along with many more great shots and stories from my travels. Dig a little deeper into Buck Abroad on YouTube and check out my adventure motorcycle series featuring a 40,000 kilometer solo trip through some of the sketchiest countries on the globe. If you get a kick out of these videos, please make sure to like, send some positive vibes, share with a friend, and subscribe for more. Thanks.